What's going on everyone, Bass here. In today's video, I want to talk about Packers tight end Tyler Davis and if he could be the next breakout player on this Packers offense. Davis, a sixth round draft choice in the 2020 draft out of UConn and Georgia Tech. He spent three years at UConn and then Georgia Tech in his final year at college, where he actually started as a quarterback at UConn, then transitioned into a tight end, selected by the Jaguars, and then was also on the Colts practice squad in 2021. Then last September, Green Bay signed Tyler Davis off the Indianapolis Colts practice squad to their active roster. Uh, September 28th, I believe it was, right? right after Dominic Daphne did suffer an injury. Now, Davis last year only finished with four receptions for 35 yards, but he also finished 17th best among all tight ends in the NFL um, in run block grade via PFF. And recently, a lot of coaches and even Brian Gutekunst himself have been talking up Tyler Davis. After the draft, when Gutekunst was asked about the tight end position, since the Packers didn't spend a draft pick on a tight end in this draft, he said this, Tyler Davis, we picked him up early in the year and his opportunities grew not only in the games, but in practice. I think we really have something there. So I'm excited about that. So that clearly shows Brian Gutekunst, who takes control over the player personnel, sees a lot in Tyler Davis and thought to himself, hey, we don't necessarily need to draft a tight end in this draft. I really like what I have in Tyler Davis. I think he fits into this offense. I think we have something there. So that means a lot to hear that from someone like Gutekunst. Davis had a combined 353 snaps on both offense and special teams and included five coverage tackles. So he's contributed a lot um, in special teams, more so in special teams than offense, and, and, and is a good special teams player, and even Rich Basaccia has said that himself. Matt LaFleur had this to say about Davis on special teams, quote, he certainly made his mark on special teams, and he's a guy that I know Rich was really excited about when we hired Rich, just what he can bring. LaFleur said, He's a guy that's going to give you great effort each and every snap, and he can really run. So that's also very important, too, when you consider uh, Tyler Davis potentially making the 53-man roster, which I think he will just because the Packers are really prioritizing um, special teams. And we don't know if Robert Tunyon is going to be ready week one, but the Packers, I think, really like what they have in Tyler Davis, both for the potential on offense and, of course, his experience on special teams and being a good special teams player. So that's also good to hear from Matt LaFleur. Another very important thing to note, uh, Tyler Davis's offensive coordinator when he first started and transitioned into tight end in 2018 at UConn was John Dunn. John Dunn is now the tight ends coach on Green Bay. Now, of course, there's not a huge sample size. Davis had his first NFL reception last year and only four receptions total last year um, and, and, and not a crazy amount of snaps overall, only 353 snaps. But he has shown flashes as a blocker as well as a receiver at tight end. They tend to line Davis up as that traditional Y tight end, uh, same orientation that Mercedes Lewis has, the hand in the dirt style tight end. But they've also used him as kind of a move tight end, that uh, formation uh, motion move tight end that they do with Robert Tunyon. They've also used him there as well. So I do have a couple clips from all 22 coaches film uh, from this last season. Now I only have a couple since of course he didn't play that much that that many snaps and also the NFL game pass is extremely hard to use and even getting five clips is super difficult. If you've ever used NFL game pass in the past year, you'll know how difficult it is to use and how, how bad uh, that program is or that product is. So NFL, please, please fix your product. So for this first clip, I have Tyler Davis's longest reception, a 22 yard reception. Again, sorry for the pause logo. This will disappear. This is again, just an issue with game pass. Uh, it's a mess to use, but here we go. He's right here at the bottom hand in the dirt. Going to run past all these linebackers. Aaron Rodgers is going to throw a late laser to him across the middle. Uh, really nice finding an open zone there between what it seems like four defenders at that point. Now, this is a play action. So the moment that play action is seen, these linebackers are already committed to potentially stopping the run. And Tyler Davis does a good job breaking right off the line and getting upfield past these two linebackers. And like I said, finding the zone in between these two defenders here right around the 38-yard line. And Aaron Rodgers does a good job throwing this ball really late off a corner blitz. And trusting Tyler Davis getting to that point, which he does. Nice 22-yard reception. Nice route. Nice job finding a hole in the defense. And here's just another angle of it real quick. Tyler Davis off the snap takes an inside release to get right past this linebacker here. And then on the inside of this uh, safety, I believe it is. And like I said, getting past over the top of the linebackers to where they're not tracking him. Everyone's in zone coverage. And he finds a nice hole between four defenders. Well, mainly three defenders and then one's farther out here. But nonetheless, finding a nice hole in that defense and gaining 22 yards. So this play is a blocking play by Tyler Davis. It's going to be an end around to, I believe, Alan Lazard. And Davis's role is to get outside and then break back inside and, and can block that edge for Alan Lazard on this end around. So as you see here, T Davis right off the snap breaks out 
uh, with Alan Lazard on this end around, then comes back and, and completely stuffs this dude here. Um, gets a nice block on 26 there. Alan Lazard then had to make one guy miss. Didn't necessarily do that, but nonetheless, Tyler Davis did a good job containing that edge and blocking downhill on that and allowing Alan Lazard to get outside. All right, so here's another play in the receiving game that really impressed me. Now, this didn't end up in a reception. Aaron Rodgers ended up tucking and scrambling and running, but what I'll show you what I really like about this play. So Tyler Davis, off the get-go, is running a seam. Aaron Rodgers, I think, wants to go there. This linebacker is on man coverage and does a good job covering Davis on the seam. You saw Aaron Rodgers kind of do a half pump right here. Um, I think he's more so pumping to the right side. But nonetheless, he checks off of that, goes up to Tyler Davis, sees he's locked up, and at this point, Aaron Rodgers has to scramble. When he's scrambling right, I want you to keep an eye up at the top here. You can't see it too well, but Tyler Davis is then going left off the top of his route. He looks back, sees Aaron Rodgers, and then cuts back right, following with the play with Aaron Rodgers. You'll see it right here, and he actually breaks open right here. You can see the bottom of his legs. I know it's hard to see his, without his full body in, in form, but at this point, if Aaron Rodgers were to just look up, that's a touchdown. That's an easy touchdown, but at this point, I think he's committed to running. But I really like seeing Tyler Davis moving back towards the ball and trying to make a play for his quarterback. Now, again, Aaron Rodgers scrambles here, but I really like seeing that. This is what Randall Cobb, Jordy Nelson, James Jones, all those receivers did back in the day is get open for your quarterback when the play is being extended. Go back towards the ball. Don't just stand there, and that's exactly what he did. Um, like I said, if Aaron Rodgers was looking, that's likely a touchdown. Here's another run blocking play. Tyler Davis did a good job in most of these plays I've seen run blocking containing the edge. He's one on one against number 53 here, an edge rusher, and you know, he contains him. The edge rusher gets gains no ground against him. It is a run right up the middle um, in the A gap, so he doesn't really have to do much. It's not like it's going to his side completely, but he doesn't let his guy get past him, and he does a good job containing him there until the end of the play. And lastly, one more run play. It's going to be a run design cutback, I'm pretty sure. And it's going to go to Tyler Davis' uh, side. And again, he's 1v1 against 53 and does a really good job containing him. A.J. Dillon gets the handoff, uh, does a cutback to Tyler Davis' side. Um, we, I think we have Lazard coming downhill on the safety. And Tyler Davis holding that edge. And A.J. Dillon has to bounce around here, and he has a huge hole to run through. Yep, Lazard. I think it's Lazard or St. Brown. It was St. Brown. St. Brown does a decent job there. But Tyler Davis holding... 53 on that edge the entire time off that cutback. Really nice run blocking there. Like I said, he's impressed in the run blocking game as a traditional Y tight end. I really liked him in run blocking and receiving. And as I said, the 17th best run blocker via PFF. So those are all the clips I have. Like I said, small sample size, but from what I've seen, I've really liked what I've saw from Tyler Davis. And now I understand why Gutekunst Matt LaFleur and Rich Passaccia have all been saying these things as well. But I want to hear your thoughts down in the comments. Do you think Tyler Davis is the real deal? Do you think he will take a next year jump in this offense, in this special teams on the Packers next year? Could he be the next breakout player on the Packers? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you are new here and want more Packers news analysis and updates and like this sort of video, please go down and consider clicking the subscribe button. And if you guys could also leave a like on the video, it supports my channel a ton. But that about does it for this one. I'll catch you on the next one. As always, Go Pack Go!